going back to choose your own path. So uh, earlier today, I did a video about the uh, rattlesnake walking stick, and it's done. Uh, I didn't show any process or progress on the paint job. Um, I got busy. I got bored. I got just whatever. I just didn't want to pick up the camera and show it because it was my own thing, right? So anyway, this is all acrylics. Uh, the airbrush paint would be for the gray dish that I used that for the limb. Um, everything's been epoxied. This is an, uh, well, older, newer kind of resin that I'm using. It's from China. I have no idea what the name of it is. I don't even know it has a name. Basically, it's, um, uh, it comes in a little black bottle with a blue label. I don't even know what it says. I can't remember right now. And, uh, you just expose it to UV light or the sun and it dries pretty good. It does feel not tacky, but just fresh. And... I know that because I use enough epoxy that I know it's sticky, how it feels. It needs to be in the light, so I'm going to hang it up. That's why that little hook's there. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to put a little base on it. This is going to be donated to my campground as a draw. So if they make something off it, I'm happy. That's the way it is. It's very good people out there. We just had a severe thunderstorm last night with a tornado watch, which my wife was out at the cabin by herself or at the trailer say by herself uh, she survived it it was good uh, it came down pretty hard um, the, there was a lot of damage to the town and she was pretty scared because she was in a little trailer and I couldn't do nothing I couldn't go out there because the, the storm was heading that way and I would have been caught on it in it and that wouldn't have done anything for both of us so uh, tough tough cookie she knows what to do and that's good but anyway uh, poxy is not epoxy eyes but you can see the eyes um, there's a little glare right there you can see it's shimmering so there's epoxy like the holes I, I, I'd use that uh, conquer bit I showed you guys con concave concur concave I think it is and then it round I rounded it and then it left a little hole inside so then you just put it to the side you drop some epoxy in it and uh, expose it to the light like I said paint is just acrylic I just went for a basic pattern what I thought was a um, rattlesnake there's a the little tail that I tried to finish up and make somewhat look like it has a you know, good solid base epoxy itself goes into any kind of cracks and little nooks or whatever's in there and it'll make it solid not gonna last forever epoxy does fade away it yellows uh, if you keep it exposed to the Sun for too long it's just that it's the way I do stuff you've seen videos before if you're been watching me for a while I use epoxy it keeps it solid some people put these on mantles and just whatever. Uh, yeah, so I just wanted to try something because I had an extra piece. And I was doing a lot of fish, so <laughs> it's, you know, time to switch it up. Um, and I love, you know, doing stuff like uh, what Mike shows us. Mike Snit is, uh, like I said, he's the grandpapa of uh, all the uh, snake sticks that I've ever seen. I, there's a lot of other people, don't get me wrong. If I don't know who you are, I wish I would because I'd love to watch some of your videos too. But Mike's come up all the time. And I follow him. Uh, I showed you I, sh I purchased his book. Um, a lot of helpful, helpful ideas. Uh, Cuts All Too is a great tooling you know, company to, to work with. Again, if you wanted to uh, check them out and see the tools that I use, I'll send the link down in the description below. And uh, I forgot to say you have to use the uh, promo code RV Woodcrafts in capital letters uh, to get the percentage off your next purchase which uh, it helps it's either five or ten percent off uh, it just it's it's a great little company and their birds are, are awesome so yeah um, just basic uh, dark browns uh, light browns white uh, some black and that's pretty much it uh, and, and the white is like a bone white that I use so it doesn't look like it's just pure white not like you know not like that white there is just it's more of an off-white um, you know tried to get a little bit of a look of a of its head the mouth I'm not uh, the the facial part you can see I don't know if you can see you can see it better in person you could see the actual carving of where the like the little triangle pieces that it's not their teeth it's just it's like the uh, it's like scales they're there um, I did you know a little bit of white stripes on the top to represent the scaling if you were to have this in hand and look you'll see every scale and uh, a lot of um, there was a couple of people that had commented on the shininess of my stuff 
and yeah it does it is shiny it almost looks wet um i just think it looks better like this it it it, it saves it from you know rotting faster some people leave things outside you know it just happens so anyway um just wanted to try something different and uh, show you guys this is what i did and it is going to my campground so um yeah if i could do it you could do it choose your own path guys see you on the next one thanks for watching